Hello there, this is Carnage here with another review. Today, we look at a Kenner Mask Venom Iguana. Back in the day, this was one of the more affordable pieces from the toy line. And guess what? It still is. The Iguana is supposed to be an ATV, all-terrain vehicle, that transforms into an attack tank complete with bus saw and cannons. I've always known mass vehicles to be quite close to their real-world disguises, but for this one, not so in my opinion. This just looks rather clunky, and more closely resembles a riding lawnmower. I don't recall much about this vehicle being used in the cartoon, but maybe it was because there were so many other more exciting vehicles that draw my attention. First, we look at the aesthetics on this piece. It appears to be mostly molded plastic. The piece that I have has uh, very nice stickers, very little wear. This appears to be the vehicle number. The Iguana appeared in the cartoon in the racing series. The color combination is nice. I especially like the black rubber tires and the red wheels and the red seat. Details all over the vehicle. Well, it's pretty decent. Let's see where the stickers are on this thing. You got the biggest pieces of sticker front and center, number 7, and on the sides, and also on the seat. On the inside, you get a Venom sticker here, which will show when transformed into attack mode. Some panel sticker here, and another here. None on the bottom. One more sticker back here. Uh, peeling. Now if you hold the vehicle up, you will notice this blue piece down here. See how it oddly has the silhouette of feet? Well, this is where the driver, specifically Lester Sludge, places, well, actually wedges is a more appropriate term, his feet. Let's first get Lester Sludge into the seated position. And then, this is the slightly annoying part. You will have to very slowly, one foot at a time, work the feet into the holders. I cringe at this part because it's really hard to be gentle when you're literally jamming the figure into the vehicle. But I guess it stood up to all those years of play. So I guess the figure's feet were built for this. So you wedge one foot in and then the next foot. You kind of need to shift Lester's Sludge into the center of the seat. Right. With him in position, um, you can see his butt isn't really touching the seat. But I think that's close enough. And as you can see, he's completely secure. Without a seat belt. Raise his arms, and yeah, he plays the part. And again, as with most mass vehicles, they roll very well on those rubber tires. Moving on to the transformation, the key to activating the mechanism is the seat. Now, I wouldn't try pressing down on the exhaust pipes as you might end up using excessive force. It is easier to lift up the front and then lift up the seat from there. There, the seat has triggered the mechanism. What happened was the spring-loaded gears shifted the back wheel forwards and at the same time forces the seat to stand and then pushes Lester Sludge forward. In turn, Lester Sludge stands up. And at the same time, there's a red bar saw that, that pops out the back. And now we complete the transformation in the front. We flip out the front cover, revealing what I feel is the showstopper of this toy that red bus saw. Then we raise the cannons in the front. For his hands, um, I kind of pose them like this. Or you can just have the front kind of resting against his body. And again, Lester Sludge is kind of secure due to the foot holes. He ain't going nowhere. And look at this. If you put the bus saw close to the ground, OK, 
Okay, let's transform back to lawn mode, I mean ATV mode. We close up the front first, retract the bar saw, and flip back the front. So for the seat, the best way I feel that gives the least stress to the toy is to simultaneously push the back bus saw. Yes, that might give your thumb a bit of a massage at the same time. You can see this moves the you can see this moves the entire piece forwards or the back wheels backwards, depending on how you see it. It should click into place. Then you can safely put the seat down. And Lester Sludge can now be seated. His thighs and calves must be burning by now. Now let's have a close look at Lester Sludge. Well, his mask slash helmet is pretty accurate to ATV riders. I'll throw up photos of that. Very colourful, not much paint wear. The helmet's power was, get this, Mutt Slinger. Which has him literally, yeah, slinging what looks like mud. His uniform is kind of nice, with all kinds of padding. A look at his mug under the mask. Okay, here's the thing. I always found Lester's head a little on the small side. Here, I have Raven's Pilot, Calhoun Burns, and we can compare the head sizes. So, right. You can see Lester's largest head is a little bit smaller compared to Calhoun Burns. Well, let's compare it with a female character, Vanessa Warfield. Okay, it seems that the face is kind of the same size, but keeping in mind they had to make it smaller due to her flowing red hair. Anyway, the head isn't the only thing that is relatively smaller. Um, down here, the shin, I think it's a little smaller. Compare with Vanessa's shins? No? How about Calhoun Burns? Okay, it might not seem so on camera, but I think the difference is very slight. I have found that it actually helps Lester Sludge slide his feet into the footholds a little bit easier than other characters. Okay, well, you can see some paint wear on his bum. I think this is related to the transformation, the seat rubbing against it all the time. Alright, a look at the mask. Pretty decent paint. No paint wear that I can see. Alright, we are at the end of the review. Um, the Iguana isn't as fantastic as, say, the main vehicles such as the Gator or even the Condor. But I guess he has a role to play as a henchman of Venom. The bus saw arm is pretty cool, and so is the mechanism that makes the driver stand upright. I kind of wish there was a little bit more to do, like maybe a projectile, or being able to convert to, say, a sea vehicle. In the end, I recommend you get this piece after you have collected the first and maybe the second tier vehicles, unless you really have an attachment to this vehicle. Don't forget to give me a like, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Let me know if you had this as a child, or which mass vehicles hold a special place in your heart. Time for me to sign off my friend. You have a great day. Bye bye.